One of the most common upset scenarios a pilot can find themselves in is a stall spin while turning base to final. Unlike upsets that take place outside of the pilot's control, such as those caused by wake turbulence, a stall spin usually happens because of the pilot's lack of control or over control. Let's take a look at a typical scenario. Perhaps due to an unexpected crosswind or pilot fatigue, rather than turning onto the extended center line on final, the aircraft overshoots the runway, and it's here an otherwise uneventful flight goes terribly wrong. Rather than simply abort the approach and overshoot, the pilot tries to bring the nose of the aircraft around by pushing inside rudder. In a matter of only a few seconds, the mishandling of the controls causes the aircraft to roll quickly to the inside of the turn and into a low-level spin with tragic consequences. Seems improbable? How can a properly licensed pilot so poorly handle the controls so as to induce a spin at low level? Yet the statistics show that over and over this scenario continues to be one of the biggest killers among general aviation pilots. So let's take a look at the aerodynamic forces in more detail. The aircraft is on the base leg about to turn final. We know that as the aircraft slows, we're significantly closer to critical angle of attack than we were during cruise. During the turn to final, the pilot overshoots the extended center line of the runway. The exact cause of this is irrelevant. However, what is important to note is that the pilot generally stops rolling at around 30 to 45 degrees angle of bank, as that's the maximum bank many pilots are comfortable with. The pilot notices that the aircraft is still not lined up on final despite his efforts. Having reached the maximum comfort level for angle of bank, the pilot begins to push the rudder to the inside of the turn in an attempt to bring the nose around and point it towards the runway. Aerodynamically, this does nothing to help the pilot. In fact, all it does is begin to couple yaw and roll together and begin the process of inputting pro-spin controls. Yaw acts in an ear-to-ear -ear movement relative to the pilot. Since the aircraft is now in a 45 degree angle of bank, pushing inside rudder does not bring the nose around, rather it causes it to drop down. To counter the nose drop, the pilot begins to add back or up elevator. This increases the angle of attack and the G-loading on the aircraft. The earlier input of yaw also has the effect of inducing secondary roll. To counter the increasing angle of bank, the pilot uses opposite aileron. The aileron on the inner wing now goes down in an attempt to increase lift on the inner wing and stop the inside roll. While this may seem like a slow, steady progression, in reality, it happens in only a few seconds. The pilot has unknowingly pulled the aircraft into a stall and because of the pro-spin control inputs, has coupled yaw and roll together, creating the perfect case for an accelerated stall spin. Learning these concepts on the ground and having an understanding of how and why the stall spin happens is a great and necessary first step to avoiding this deadly mistake. Receiving proper training to avoid and then recover your aircraft in various upset scenarios will go a long way to getting you back on the ground safely. Remember, a go-around is always an option and in many cases the best one. Taking an extra five minutes to fly a circuit costs very little compared to the cost of writing off an aircraft and the lives of those aboard.